Welcome to Ask the Beauty Advisor, a podcast that answers your health and beauty questions. Hosted by health and beauty advisor, Deanna Lynn. Thank you for joining us today on Ask the Beauty Advisor. This is the podcast where we talk about all things health and beauty. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you a beauty treatment or beauty technique that you can do right in your own home. Now, this technique can really eliminate wrinkles, acne scars, scars, hyperpigmentation, and even rosacea. The technique that we're going to be talking about here today is called microneedling. And yes, you can do this safely right in your own home, as long as you have the proper tool and skincare for home use. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. My guest for today is Michelle Berdil Skelly. Michelle's going to share with us today her expert advice on how you can safely use this technique at home. Microneedling is an amazing treatment that could possibly eliminate some of your major skin concerns. So stay tuned and discover if this is the right treatment for you. So before we take a deep dive into our topic for today, I just want to take a minute here to thank you all for subscribing to the newsletter. I had 20 new subscribers this week. For me, that's overwhelmingly amazing. I don't know what I did right, and I'll probably never do it again. But anyway, thank you all for joining the newsletter or subscribing to the newsletter. It'll be out shortly. For those of you who haven't joined, let me just briefly tell you a little bit about the newsletter. It's a monthly newsletter. It'll contain extra beauty and health tips that we don't have on the show. I also plan to include a lot of fun things like um, do-it-yourself beauty treatments and beauty recipes. I'll include some diet tips. I also plan to include some healthy, delicious recipes, just anything I can find that would be fun, interesting, or helpful for you. Um, won't be more than once a month because I don't have the time and I hate my inbox being flooded, so I wouldn't do that to you. So if you haven't joined yet, you can join on the blog, askthebeautyadvisor.com, or you can go over to the Facebook page if you're a Facebook person and look me up on Facebook. It's Facebook slash Ask the Beauty Advisor. You've got mail, Miss Lynn. On last week's episode, I announced the topic that I'd be sharing with you this week which is microneedling. I received an email after that episode from one of our listeners. Now, before I bring our guest Michelle on, I'd like to read this letter to you from one of the listeners. Hi there, Miss Lynn. I just wanted to let you know when you announced your topic for this week, microneedling, I got very excited. Let me just say I'm lazy and I like things to be simple. So doing something other than just applying products on my face that requires a battery or comes with complicated instructions strikes me as being complicated and aggressive. So I honestly thought I'd be the last person on earth to get on board with at-home microneedling. But after running across an article on the topic that enticed me with promises of skin changes, I desperately was seeking. I was compelled to try it out. It seemed easy, fun, and intriguing. After all, all you had to do was roll a tool over your skin like a painter's roller, and boom, collagen plump skin. I honestly never really thought I'd get any better results than anything else that I've ever used on my skin over the last three years. I just simply did what the instructions said. I gently rolled the dermal roller vertically, horizontally, and then diagonally over the sides of my face, chin, lips, forehead, and neck. The secret is just to use mild, even pressure. You don't need to force or push it into the skin. You just need to gently roll. The sensation is a bit strange, but really not unpleasant at all. 
It honestly barely feels like anything because, after all, the needles are truly micro. Anyway, the point of this email is to let you know that after just one treatment, actually, when I woke up the following morning, I couldn't believe how nice and radiant and beautiful my skin looked. My mind was basically blown away, and I thought maybe your listeners would like to hear about my experience. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the episode. Thanks a lot, Miranda. That's just great, Miranda. Thank you very much for the email, and thank you for listening. Turns out, your email is a great segue for me to introduce our guest for today, our guest and expert for today, Michelle. So without further ado, let's go ahead now and tune into that interview I had with Michelle. Hey, Michelle, welcome to Ask the Beauty Advisor, and thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you so much, Deanne. I'm really excited to be on your program today and really looking forward to chatting with you. Yes, Michelle, thank you. It's very exciting to have you here. Michelle, why don't we just jump right into our topic today? Why don't we start by you telling us some of the skin conditions that can be resolved by this technique of microneedling or skin needling? Sure. Um, Skin needling um, can be an alternative to reconstructive surgeries in a lot of cases. Um, You know, a lot of people that get post-cosmetic surgery procedures, they'll maybe get a um, breast implants or a tummy tuck, um, or maybe they've had skin cancer and they have a scar on their face from the skin cancer surgery, or maybe they've had thyroid cancer and they've had a surgery um, with a scar on their neck. Um, the, 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 the microneedling or skin needling roller can be used to um, help out with um, these surgeries post-procedure, and um, they heal them over time. Also, for any acne scarring or pitting of the skin that some people may get, um, microneedling or skin needling is great for that as well. And then, of course, with aging skin, um, you know, collagen production slows down around the age of 30, around 1% each year. So um, skin needling can certainly help firm up the skin through collagen stimulation over time. Now, Michelle, before we really dive deeply into this topic, oh, why don't we tell the listeners a little bit about you? Now, you're an independent executive consultant for Rodan and Fields. Is that correct? Correct. Wow. Now, how long have you been with this company? I've been with the company for a year. Michelle, do you just do this part-time or is this a full-time job for you? Sure. No, this is what I do. This is what I do full-time. Um, I've always had a passion for skincare. So, um, you know, I have worked in corporate America before, but yes, now I'm, I'm doing this full-time and enjoying every minute of it. (laughs) Well, that's really good to hear because this beauty business can be very fun and very rewarding. But tell me, why skincare and why Rodan and Fields? Sure. So um, I've always had a passion for skincare, as I mentioned, and I could see, I know you as well, um, you have a passion for skincare. And I've always had a passion also for, you know, eating healthy and, you know, cooking healthy meals and also um, making desserts, which I think it seems like you like to do as well when I've read up a little bit. So we kind of have something in common there. But my passion for skincare really started when I was around 12 years old. Um, My grandmother, who she lived to almost be 101, and she passed away about 10 years ago. Um, But when I was around 12, she took me to the department store and she was like, hey, you know what, I want to get you into, you know, using some great creams and cleanse. And I know it's crazy 12 years of age, but um, I really got into that. She took me into the Estee Lauder counter and, you know, got me some creams and lotions and so forth. And I think from there on, I just um, had really just, you know, gotten into it and um, just, you know, being into taking care of my skin and eating healthy. I remember around seventh or eighth grade, I would wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I'd work out and then, you know, take care of my skin before going off to class. So it just was always a passion of mine, I think, from a really young age. Um, I went on to college and I got my dietetics degree. And then I also got my master's in business administration as well. And um, through that, I decided that, um, you know, working in a hospital setting and being a dietitian wasn't really for me, but I was really passionate and loved the advertising and digital marketing um, sector of things. So 
um, you know, just going through having my fair share of skincare issues. Um, and I used proactive when I was younger and I had had some issues with acne. Um, so between, you know, using proactive and also going to the dermatologist as well to get that under control and then, you know, going through having hyperpigmentation and, um, you know, using different products and, you know, figuring out, hey, this didn't work for me, this worked for me. But when I found um, Rodan and Fields, it just, my, I don't know, it just really helped my skin and my hyperpigmentation went away. And, um, you know, just going through different skin issues like that and um, just trying different products, um, they were what worked for me. So I just decided with having my digital marketing background and then um, having a passion for skincare, it just was a no brainer for me to just, you know, get involved into having my own virtual skincare franchise online. Well, that's pretty impressive, considering the fact that you were able to get into this business and do it full time and make it a full time career. Um, One of these days, you're going to have to get on the show and tell us exactly how you did that, because I'd be interested in that. But for right now, let's dive a little deeper into our topic for today, which is microneedling. Could you explain for maybe some of the listeners out there who don't know what we're talking about, exactly what the technique is and exactly what the tool is that's used for the technique? Sure, absolutely. Um, So there's some different um, interchanging of of what people call it. So some people call it skin needling. You may also hear the term micro needling. And then there's also derma rolling. So all of these terms are the same thing, but um, that's, that's really what they, what, you know, how people call it. Um, Believe it or not, skin needling has been around for quite a while. Celebs have been going to um, doctor's offices for years and getting it done um, with great results. And so it was kind of hush-hush back then. But now, um, as you know, so many people are into taking care of their skin and looking great, um, it's just kind of you know, it's, it's surfaced and people are learning more about it. So around the age of 30, as I mentioned before, collagen production starts to slow down at around 1% per year. So what microneedling does is it helps to stimulate our body's natural production of collagen and elastin. So, you know, factors such as getting older, age, sun exposure, um, and even smoking, things like smoking can contribute to losing collagen and elastin fibers. And then that's where we start to see that sagging skin and the wrinkles that most of us, I don't really know of anyone that really likes that. So um, how the micro needle works or derma roller is there's a little tiny like acupuncture needles. Um, and what you do is you roll your skin in, in sections. So you would, you know, roll your forehead, your right and your left side of your cheeks, your jaw lines are a great place to roll lips, um, your chin, your neck, your decolletage. Um, and it's in it, you don't want to really use a lot of pressure. So gently, gently roll and it should only take about a minute to do your entire, all of those areas that I mentioned. So you basically would roll for four to 10 times each. I typically do about um, four times each. Um, And you do changing directions when you roll. So, you know, if you're doing your forehead, you go up, down, back, forth, and then diagonally each side. Um, And so that's what you would do on your forehead, your chin, your jaw lines, your neck, your um, decolletage, and your lips and so forth. And you want to stay away from your eyes, though, of course. You wouldn't want to do that around your eye area because it's a lot more sensitive. And then after you um, use your roller, that's where you really want to apply a serum, like I apply a, a retinol peptide serum. So, And then I put on my night cream. And it just helps your products to penetrate deeper for better results. And um, so all in all, these tiny little punctures, then they're microscopic, so you don't see them, they signal the skin um, that it's wounded, and then the body rushes in to bring in some collagen elastin to help repair the skin. So that's, that's in essence, what, it, what a, a skin needling does. Hmm, interesting. So you're actually puncturing the skin. Wow. That sounds like it could... It sounds like it could be painful or even draw blood. Is is there any blood involved? No, it doesn't. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't bleed at all if you're doing it. If you're doing it right. And again, it really. It sounds. It sounds probably more painful than it really is. But they really are um, just tiny little needles. So when you're rolling your skin, and again, you do it very gently. Not you know. 
rubbing your rolling your skin to death. You don't want to do that. Um, but no, it doesn't it doesn't hurt at all. Um, it just you know some people may be a little bit more sensitive, so their skin may take some time to get used to it. Um, and then some people, I always tell people to tread lightly when you're doing skin needling. I know sometimes, you know, a lot of times we go, oh, hey, if it's going to firm up my skin and it's going to get rid of my wrinkles, I want to just go full blast and just, you know, do it every day. Um, and I really caution that you really want to work your way up. Um, and so your, your skin has that repair period time to get used to it. Um, and then that's where over time, you know, you really see the benefits of it and, um, and it works. So it doesn't hurt. (laughs) Now, speaking of overdoing it, we've actually had a few clients who've come into the spa with less than stellar results after using a derma roller. And one client in particular who actually almost damaged her skin. I think for one part of what she did was overdo it. She overrolled the skin and maybe even was pressing too hard. And plus she used a dermal roller that she bought off the internet. I think she got it off of eBay or Amazon. It actually came from China. And it was actually a medical device, something that a professional with you would use. It came with very little instructions. So it really wasn't geared for home use, and it made her skin kind of rough and dry. And anyway, we we had to kind of repair it. She got a few radius injections, and the damage was repaired, so it wasn't anything permanent. But my point here is really that there is a difference between something that you would use at home and something that should only be used by a medical professional. So tell us the difference between your roller, Rodans and Fields, and something that a person would buy from China or off the internet? Sure, absolutely. Um, and, I, and again, there are doctor's offices that um, have their professional um, micro needle rollers where people can do them in office. Um, and then also there's been the rise of the at-home rollers. They're more mild, but you'll still see results over time. But you brought a very good point in where you said that, I, and I see them online all the time, and I have people that ask me, well, you know, why would I want to use your roller when I can go out and buy a roller for $10 or $20? Well, you really, if you see those needles compared to, you know, the, the AMP MD roller system, which, you know, our, our roller, first of all, it's created by two leading dermatologists with 50 plus years of combined experience and a proven history of treating patients. So they've done in office microneedling treatments for their patients for years. So they've created an AMP MD roller that, you know, again, it's not going to be the, the same as a doctor's office, but it's going to mirror that where, um, you know, it's, it's safer. And our roller is FDA approved. Um, I believe actually, and it, it is the only FDA approved roller on the market, but, and it's also patent pending. Um, so I think that's a big thing right there. It is created by two leading dermatologists. Um, so it is going to be more expensive than those ones that you see on eBay and Amazon. But again, it's, it's not, it's, it's not the, the same thing because it was created differently. I think, um, what really sets apart our roller from other rollers too is it comes with a purification cleaning system. So, um, bacteria, bacterial contam- contamination is a big thing that you want to watch out for. So, you know, when I use my roller, for example, I use it, um, four to five times a week. I'll, um, you know, usually once I use it, I rinse it off with warm water and I shake it off and then I let it sit in the case that it comes in. But once a week, we have a, we have diff- we have purification tablets that it comes with and in a vial where you place a purification tablet, fill it up with water, stick the, the roller in there and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes and, and clean itself out. Then once you do that, the, the water will kind of change from a darker blue to a light blue. That's when you know that it's, it's cleaned. You take it out. Again, you shake it off. You put it back in the case, leave the case open and let it dry out Um you know, naturally overnight. But I, that, that's really what sets ours apart is we do have a whole cleaning system behind it. You don't want to share your AMP MD roller with anyone else. I've had that question before. You really want to just use it one, one person. And it's also recommended that 
you replace it once a year. So if you're using your AMP MD roller, you know, four to six times a week, you want to replace it after one year of using. So if you've had it for years and it's sitting there and maybe it's rusting or the needles are wearing off or you're not cleaning it correctly or you don't have a purification system that comes with it to clean it, that's where those issues come into place and you can have um, some, some skin problems. Well, yeah. What you, when you think of, sanitation is really important when you think about you're actually puncturing the skin. But let's talk about some of the positive results people have been getting from using the derma roller. What kind of results have you personally seen that you've seen from people who have been using this technique? Sure. I, I see, you know, for me personally, um, on myself, I've seen great results. Um, I see great results on people that, you know, have acne pitting of the skin. And, you know, it's really great even seeing um, some people that I know that have had skin cancer, um, the scars from the skin cancer or thyroid cancer and have a scar in their neck. It's great to see in like a two to four month period, that scar is completely gone. So some people, um, you know, may opt to maybe get a, a reconstructive surgery. Um, a lot of times maybe that's recommended, but this is an alternative option that I have seen work um, in a lot of cases. In fact, I have a, a particular customer that I've talked with that under that, that went through thyroid cancer and her doctor had recommended reconstructive surgery and she was supposed to go back to see him a couple of months after um, she had gone through checkups and having the surgery and she opted not to do the reconstructive surgery. She decided to give it some time and then use our AMP-MD roller system. And when she went to the doctor's office months later, he was like, oh, you had the, the reconstructive surgery. Um, and she said, no, I didn't. And he's like, well, you had to have it. Where's the scar? And she said, well, I've been using this AMP-MD roller. And he was like, wow. So um, I do really see a lot of great success stories with this. But again, proper usage and using it within reason so your skin becomes acclimated to it is very, very important. Besides just the normal instructions that would come with the technique, does the company offer any in-depth training or even support? Um, we have a lot of online training. So we have a lot of online videos where it will, we have um, a nurse and we have, you know, they, they literally walk you through showing you how to do it, the steps to do it, how to, um, how to use it, what to do after, how to clean it. So we have a bunch of um, videos, training videos that specifically show you how to use these products and tools correctly. Excellent. Great. Good to know. Now, from the point of view of a skincare professional, could they or how could they benefit by becoming involved with Rodan and Field? How could they or even their clients benefit? I guess what I'm really trying to say here is, could there be benefits for a licensed skincare professional to get involved with Rodan and Fields? And if so, what would the benefits be? Sure, absolutely. I see it, um, you know, happen every day. And I work with many medical professionals, such as estheticians, um, dermatologists, plastic and cosmetic surgeons, even, you know, licensed nurse practitioners and nurse anesthetists. Um, a lot of them um, work, you know, and use these products and offer these products to their clients and patients. And what's great about these um, in helping them is they have a revolving door of um, clients or patients come in day out and day in and day out. And part of their job is recommending um, beauty and skincare tips on top of providing their medical expertise or, you know, skincare expertise. So a lot of these patients and clients that are already coming to these medical professionals, they already most likely trust them for facials or treatments or, you know, advanced skincare issues or even surgery or injectables that they may be getting. So if they already trust them for those situations, chances are they're going to trust um, these medical professionals um, for skincare recommendations. So, um, you know, again, they have that revolving door of people that they can, can really recommend these products to. And, you know, working with many doctors and medical professionals who do um, use these products and offer them to their clients and patients, 
I hear from them day in, day out that they face many challenges in this profession and, you know, with maybe, you know, just HIPAA issues or just, you know, medical malpractice or just, you know, getting their money on time from insurance companies and things like that. So um, this has helped and and can help um, provide a, a profitable, successful revenue stream for medical professionals at a very low maintenance cost. So, um, and I've seen that work really, really well. Um, And a lot of them, how they do it is they'll display the products, the brochures, any before and after photos in um, the lobby area or in, you know, maybe their treatment area that they have. So again, these are products that are created by two leading dermatologists with a history of success when it comes to skin and skincare. And, you know, we, we do have a 60 day money back guarantee because Um, these doctors believe so strongly in them and we only have a 1% return rate. So that speaks volumes to, um, you know, these products and safety and efficacy of the products is very important to the company. And I think one of the things where we're, we're different and what I hear a lot of medical professionals liking is there is, um, you don't have to, to purchase ongoing expensive inventory and stock it um, in your office or, you know, in your, you know, your facial room or, or what have you. So it, everything's kind of done online. You can have products there to be able, you know, to, if, if some people want to purchase them retail, but for the most part, you know, you would just ha- like basically go through online, put in credit card information, and then the products will be shipped to their house um, within two to three days. So I I hear, you know, with a lot of medical professionals that that really helps them out because they don't have to worry about purchasing thousands of dollars in expensive inventory and then hoping that they're able to, that they bought the right stuff and that they're able to, to sell it or if it expires and then they can't sell it. So that's a big advantage there. Um, Another thing is we also, the company does offer a skincare solution tool. So, um, they could use it on maybe patients or clients that are new that they don't, you know, know much about their skin issues or what they're they're going through. And they can basically walk them through a personalized consultation of what products would be recommended for them to use over time to, to address their skin issues and concerns. Wow, all of that does sound pretty amazing. So now if somebody listening would like to know a little bit more about the technique or learn a little bit more about the company, how can they get a hold of you? Well, my personal website is michelleskelly.myrandef.biz. Um, my email address is agingbackwardsrf at gmail.com if anyone wants to email me or, you know, maybe schedule a call to talk further or have me send them some before and afters and information. Be more than happy to do that. Also, um, love for people to connect with me on Twitter. My handle is at Michelle Berdiel, and that's M I C H E L L E. And the last name is B as in boy, E-R, D as in dog, E-A-L. And then certainly I'm on LinkedIn all the time. I even write content weekly on skincare and aesthetics information um, weekly. So um, my LinkedIn address, which I'd love people to connect with me or follow me, is www.linkedin.com slash I-N slash M-B-E-R-D-E-A-L. And just so the listeners know, I will be putting all of that in the show notes. And also, you guys know my blog, AskTheBeautyAdvisor.com. All of that information will be posted in this week's episode's blog post. So if you're on the blog or on Facebook, you can find that information there also. And Michelle, I know all of us would love to see some before and after pictures. So if you would kindly send me some before and after pictures, I can post those on the blog post as well with all of your information. Absolutely. Love to do that. Yeah. It's been very nice talking to you as well as very enlightening. Thank you for sharing all of that information with us today. Thank you so much, Deanna. It was such a pleasure talking with you and being on your show. All right, so that ends my interview with Michelle. I hope you guys got a lot out of that. I know I did. If you do have any questions or you'd like to learn a little bit more about skin needling, which was our topic for today, don't forget to visit Michelle's website. I should be back here next week. I have a guest. We're going to be talking about natural vitamins 
and female hair loss. So I really hope you'll come by and join us for that. Otherwise, have a great week. Bye now. Ask the Beauty Advisor is a part of the Beauty Radio Network. If you have a podcast or need help in starting a podcast and would like to be a part of a free, supportive network, then learn more by contacting Deanna at beautyradionetwork.com.